Well, everyone, what you're looking at here is the ultimate result of all my testing that I've done with all the settings that I had possible. And I got to tell you, this is fast. It's clear. I can read these gauges. I can read the buttons. I can read the labels. Very, very clear. I can read the display. Very clear with these settings. This, this stuttering that you're seeing right now, this little bit of stuttering, is in the recording, not in the headset. I did not see that. In the headset, this was much smoother. Maybe not quite as sharp as this, but definitely smoother. The recording just can't keep up with it at this point. But I am super, super happy. This plane, this is the Vertigo. Um, I think that's what it's called. It's uh, on... Um, FlightSim.to and it's it's fast. This thing is it can climb at like 12,000 feet per minute. It's really incredible. It's got a six-blade prop and this thing can move. Uh, they they tell you the only thing that can catch you is a rocket or a jet, and it's true. When you take off, they say you don't take off with more than 25% of your power. That's it. 25% of the power to take off with this. But I like it because it's got no overhead, just, you know, wide open so you can see all around in the plane and it really forces the graphics, I think, a little bit further because there's nothing blocking it, you know, everything's wide open. And so like I said, the, the clarity in the headset is awesome right now with these settings. This is smoother in the headset. Uh, obviously, this is New York City. I'm using all the, the default scenery right now. I am not testing this with any add-on scenery, just the default. This is Washington, um, taking off here from Reagan International, I think it is. So, the Washington Monument there. And again, much smoother in the headset. Super, super clear. I'm able to see these details. I'm able to see all the traffic around me. Oh, there's the Pentagon. And you can see I got bloom on, I got reflections on, the White House there, I'm sure this is a violation of the law. <laughs> I'm sure I would have been warned off by jets by now, getting this close, but it's a sim, so it's allowed. So, but again, it's, it's, it was super, super clear, super smooth. You can see that it, it moves quickly. I really feel like I'm moving as fast as the gauge says I'm going. You know, sometimes you feel like you're not going as fast as says but in this case uh, yeah here I really felt it so it was it says this plane can pull up to I think it said either positive 12 or positive 15 G's the structure of this plane the way this is built so you can't overstress this I am putting it straight out right now and again this was super smooth when I was doing it it was not stuttering at all so, and of course, because I can't resist two things. I can't resist trying to go on the bridges, and I can't resist playing tag with the heavies. So, I just was coming in. I was going to end. I was coming in a little fast there. And, uh, you got to use flap one for your speed brake. They say under 180, but I've been using it at around 220 to 230, and it's been working good. But uh, I, I like... I like find, seeing these guys and then following them in or going underneath them or above them. And, I mean, that's pretty clear, and I could see that very well in the headset. Obviously, I can't record what's in the headset. I just don't know how. But this is recorded on the headset, so this is what is being streamed to my Oculus Quest. Now for the settings. All right, so these are my settings. I have the Steam VR settings at 100%, which gives me the 2688 by 2784 and you can see that's what shows up down in my open XR NIS scalar configuration tool for the open XR resolution and I have that set at 80 percent which gives me 2150 by 2227 sharpness at 30 and in the general options under the game I have it at 90 percent then these are the settings and I'll have a link to a blog page with these screenshots as well but you can see I have medium 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 low off 100 the terrain level of detail at 100 clouds are low texture resolution high the anisotropic is at 8x 
super sampling off and texture synthesis at medium. The rest of the settings you can see here, low 768 on shadow maps. I have my ambient occlusion at medium, cube map reflections 128, ray march low, light shafts at high, bloom on, and glass cockpit at medium. Under my NVIDIA control, I have application controlled for anti-aliasing. Then I have anisotropic sampled on, quality texture filtering set to performance. The filtering on, um, texture filtering trilinear on, threaded optimization auto, vertical sync on, virtual reality pre-rendered frames two. Graphics preferences for the Oculus is 90 hertz 1.1x which is 3648 by 1856. Now this is a setting I'm just not 100% sure. My eyes aren't quite good enough to tell if it makes a difference but it seems to but that's this default texture size which you can change with side quest and I would suggest that you look for a tutorial. I'll put a link to one in here and if you want to do it you can make up your own mind. All right, well, like I said, these settings have been awesome. And the stuttering that you saw in the recordings is not in the headset, at least not in my flights. So I hope this helps, and I really appreciate you watching. Thanks.